I'm launching my doll box in a couple of days and today I'm putting the finishing touches on some of those items. Here's how the candle turned out and with its adorable purple heart embed on the inside of it. And it smells amazing. I still need to put a label on the sky. Kayla's working on the soap boxes in the other room as we speak. You might hear that in the background going on, but I need to make labels for this guy. And I also need to make labels for the bath bomb that I made for it as well, which I'll show you later on in this video. They need to be wrapped still in biodegradable shrink wrap. When it comes to designing labels at this point, it's really easy for me because I don't really change the design, actual design of the label. I like to keep my branding pretty consistent across all my products, even if it's a limited edition product. So all I'm doing is making a label that says the name of the product and maybe change the weight. And I think for the candle, I might add a doll graphic of some sort to personalize the label a little bit. And then that's pretty much it. I use melt and pour for this part of the soap and I forgot about it until now. So I have to add all of those ingredients of that melt and pour base to my label. Here's how the candle label turned out. I love this really faded bow in the background, which I grabbed from Canva. And I downloaded this as a .png file so that I can have a transparent background. That is a Canva upgrade, but I highly recommend you do that. If you are looking for nice graphics, this is what I do. It's so quick and easy to use Canva Pro. I love all the features. Kayla and I need to head out for our passport photos. So we're gonna do that right now. It's cold today. Gotta bundle up. So this neighborhood is evergreen and Kayla and I almost bought a house there. But it wasn't that special. We didn't really like it that much. The guy was just running late. Apparently he'll be here in five minutes. We're the first ones here, so hopefully we can get this passport photo done and just be in and out. There it is, the mugshot. That was the smallest passport photo place I've ever been in. And the quickest. That was really fast, yeah. <laughs> We've been carrying around a bunch of cardboard and finally remembered to put it in the recycling depot. Because we're gonna do that. It is so cold right now. Ooh, yeah. Oh, mama. <laughs> These matches burn really big and really fast. <laughs> so we are going on burn seven with this candle. So burning this much of the candle in total took 44 hours, which is pretty good. But we're continuing to burn it because we want to see what happens with this candle if it keeps going when it comes to burning candles. You don't want it to go all the way to the bottom. For lunch, Kayla and I have leftovers from Una Pizza and we found it really, really good. But we had their vegetarian pizza, their gnocchi Bianca. Oh, so good. Did you like it? Yeah. Here are my bath bombs that I made. Oh, they look beautiful. I need to wrap these guys in saran wrap and I use the national shrink wrap system for that. Look how beautiful these turned out. Scented in garden party. And I use the hybrid mold from breaking the mold YYC. Honestly, those hybrid molds are some of the easiest molds ever to use. I love them so much. And they make gorgeous bath bombs. And with the excess, like this adorable little gem bath bomb I made. To wrap them, I use my national shrink wrap system. 
And I've had this guy now for three years, a long, long time. Investing in the system really helped my bath bombs get to their destination in one piece. The humidity was really killing my bath bombs in transit. But once I started to wrap them in shrink wrap, no issues. Kale made all these bear boxes for me, which is awesome. It really saves me a lot of time. But I want to start with packaging the soap first. I'm super curious to see what this looks like in one of my bear boxes. So it slides right in like that. I want the heart probably on the right side. Then we have our labels here. That's what the label looks like here. I love this pink and purple color scheme for this box. This is what the soap looks like. I didn't intend for it to be Valentine's Day themed, but with the hearts, I think there's a Valentine's Day vibe. Oh, it smells so good. Next, we're gonna finish off these candles with their labels and also these bath bombs. I have to print those labels out first. And to print those labels out, I use Maestro for online labels. I already wrapped these bath bombs in biodegradable shrink wrap, but after sticking the labels on here, I will probably wrap them again in another layer of shrink wrap. And it just adds that little bit of extra protection, not just against humidity right now. Calgary is wildly swinging between freezing, like polar vortex temperatures to Chinook, very mild temperatures. So that extra layer of biodegradable shrink wrap will just help to catch whatever crumblies might happen. You can see that the back of this bath bomb just, it's just a little bit crumbly and it sucks when that extra bit of bath bomb mix that escapes the packaging ends up on the other products. So that is what I'm trying to prevent. I originally designed these to be on a round label, but I figured I wanted them just a little bit bigger so that they would fit better on these heart bath bombs. That and this label definitely looks pretty good on this bath bomb. And then on the back are all the ingredients and all the important information that my customer needs to know. So this is the soap, this is the bath bomb, let's do the candle. In my test candle, I added four drops of magenta liquid dye to that candle and it was really dark. I went about half that for these candles and I think it still looks pretty dark, but definitely not as dark as the test candle. This is a good color. So to everyone who warned me about how concentrated liquid dyes are, you were right. Next time we'll go maybe one drop per jar. Here are the labels, they look so good. I think they look so pretty and fun and feminine. And let's see, take a side to put this on right here. Oh, this looks great. And this is how this candle looks. With that hot pink background, this is such a stylish looking candle. My favorite candles used to be the white, plain, minimalistic candle, but the color really adds something, a certain, I don't even know what. <laughs> so there's the warning label, there's the front, and this is how the candle looks on the inside. <laughs> so this is the box that the gift set is gonna go into and the items are just going to nestle pretty tight against one another. I think right in the middle, I wanna put my soap and then my bath bomb will go here. And that's what the set's going to look like. I think if pink is your thing, <laughs> you are going to like this set. And I also think it's perfect for Valentine's Day without being too in your face Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? Just kind of Valentine's Day adjacent. Yay, I'm so glad this is done. Now all I have to do is take pictures of this and put it up on my website and my Etsy and I'm good to go. I'm wondering if Kale wants to go on a quick walk with me around the neighborhood because it is late afternoon. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, look how cozy it is. You wanna go on a walk? Sure, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> yeah, I know. But we can bundle up, right? Yep. And get back to this nice fire here. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's blow this guy out. I think this is done. I think this is past my burn test. <laughs> it's freezing out there, so putting on a big, big hat and a thick coat and a scarf. Years. Oh no! Oh no! It's not very good practice. <laughs> it's way too cold. <laughs> it's cold! For tonight's dinner, we are having escargot, and you can get this in cans, and it's really, really affordable. How much were, were these? They were like $3.99 a can. Uh, maybe cheaper than that. So if you think that escargot is just for fancy, high, fine dining places, nope, you can get it at your local grocery store. There's a, a can opener controversy in our household right now, because I threw out the can opener that we used to have, thinking it was broken. Kale claimed that that one worked completely fine. It worked perfect. And so I got this one, and now he claims that this one's broken. <laughs> I must admit, I am struggling right now. Update, I think this is broken. The spokes aren't turning properly in this guy. Oh, that works so well. Did you guys know that you can use this tool to open cans? That seems a lot more effective. Than a broken can opener, yeah. <laughs> awesome, thank you. You're welcome. To cook the snails, we got these snail dishes we found at a garage sale. I think they were like two bucks per dish. It was just such a steal. I think we got everything for two bucks actually because they were just trying to get rid of them. You can find these at any thrift store. We found them, found a bunch of them at Value Village. But this is where the snails are gonna be baked in. But I'm gonna try a different recipe than what we usually use. That's how you cook escargot. It's easier than you think. Anything tastes good with cheese, garlic, and butter in it. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> also in the comments if you guys like to eat snails or escargot, and if you prepare it this way or you have your own recipe. But that is it, we had a busy day. We are ready to eat and close everything out. Thank you so much for watching. If you want the recipes for all of the stuff that is going inside of the doll box, that's gonna be on my Patreon, which is linked down below. Speaking of my Patreon, thank you to my patrons, you guys are so awesome, especially these guys, my bubble BFFs. If you wanna buy those products, that will be launched as of February 1st. I'll release a short to remind everybody, but that is a very limited number of boxes that we are going to create. So if the box spoke to you, then better move fast on it. Until the next one, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and keep making beautiful things, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, this is different than what we've done before. <laughs> Cheese pull. Mm. <laughs> A good source of protein. Mm-hmm.